These niggas out here really thinking they doing some shit on. So y'all niggas don't even know. The stuff y'all doing, I done already done. <laughs> Let's get them. Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of fakes, that's why I roll with a selective view. Yeah. What you niggas trying to do, I'm done. Call it Gucci Fu. Ha. What's Gucci, my nigga? What's doing, my nigga? Trying to stack this money and get a couple figures. These niggas don't know what they talking about They walking around with a dick in their mouth and I'm cold Like I'm a dog in the shop We beat it on up and I beat it so raw Young nigga flow, I'm the best of them all Cock at the game, yeah, I came and I saw These niggas ain't shit, that's why they all call This game offers no competition My body bag, these niggas call me the mortician Beat is erratic, they change up for gradually Don't wanna battle me, double your salary Not from this galaxy, life is a gallery Learn from the best and I spit it so passively This music is my life, it's what I'm gonna do Life's so fast forward, I'm a couple steps ahead of you Catch up, <laughs> you know I'm hot dog. My life is like a motherfucking catalog. Fast life, living and money spending. I'm about that shit on, on a paper chase. You know the cash is something I get. Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror, like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of fakes, that's why I roll with a select of you. What you niggas trying to do? I'm done. Call it Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror, like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of fakes, that's why I roll with a select of you. What you Niggas tryna do, I'm done, call it The hustle don't stop, every day is like a repeat Rain and champ twice, boy, I'm going for that 3P You niggas can't see me, I'm HD like TV I hit the stage and drop a flow, they looking like who he Young easy definition of what you ain't Try to walk a day in my shoes, nigga, I bet you can't Hundred miles of running, I'm still going, I bet you faint Steady hustle, money double, go hard on and off the pain Niggas don't know that I switch up the flow and they jack in my thoughts Try to keep it on low, but I don't really care cause I already know Sky high, Geronimo, stop me, impossible Like a freight train, I'm unstoppable, untoppable like an obstacle And I might score like a fucking popsicle Yeah! You know I'm swagged out, cashed out, pedal to the metal, yeah I mashed out, reroute, go hard until I pass out. Reroute, go hard until I pass out. Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror, like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of faces, that's why I roll with a select of you. What you niggas trying to do? I'm done, call it Deja Vu. Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror, like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of faces, that's why I roll. What I select of you What you niggas trying to do I'm done Call it Yeah Name everywhere like graffiti uh. Throwing shots like a semi So you know it's gonna be final Head buster harder than vinyl My rival stay recital Keep coming back you recycle But never stay in a cycle y- y- Young West Coast bar. You sharing and bite my movement That straight nigga keep on moving Cause right there I know I'm pursuing Everything that you're not doing no. Young easy the new addition To the true religion New way It's not what is it Yeah 2013 is a year to get it yeah. Can't yeah. break me I'm harder Here you can cut a stick Red the rappers I don't even just got a dick Shit, but I'ma keep them in the streets though See so your niggas is rappers and I'm a beast ho Keep them running your lip, I'll get in beast mode I'm explaining what's all up in my brain Your girl a mile high, I get brain on the blind Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two The game is full of faces, that's why I roll with a select of you What you niggas trying to do, I'm done, call it Deja Vu Wake up in the morning, look up in the mirror like who is you? Just had a show last night, and this is number two. The game is full of faces, that's why I roll with a select of you. What you niggas trying to do? I'm done. Call it Deja Vu. It's your boy, Fresh Rue, CEO from No Days Off, Lifestyle INC, reminding you to tune in to the Underground Express, Monday through Friday, 6.30 p.m., and every Saturday at noon for the Wake and Bake Show. And stay tuned for the new mixtape, in the ass like a wedgie, volume one, coming 2013.
Yeah! We're going to go ahead and uh, talk to the man of the hour right now, coming out the 626 area code, father, legendary, gangster, rap star, Easy e this is Young Easy. What up, man? What's up, y'all? This is Young Easy, man. I'm the third son of uh, Eric Easy E. Wright, the Godfather of Gangsta Rap. Just how you're doing my thing, man. Just doing this music, something I enjoy, something that's in my blood. Yes, it is definitely. I, you know, your wordplay is crazy. Um, them songs have mad originality. I've, I'm, I'm reading that. You know, you're influenced by the likes of, especially your father, uh, the Beatles, Erica Badu. Hendrix, Bob Marley, Guns N' Roses, things like that. And that's a wide category and diverse um, element. Um, talk to me about, first of all, you know, your dad being who he is. I know that comes with a lot of a lot of weight on your shoulder. You feel you've done him some good? Um, yeah, man, I, I think I have. You know, that's, that's my main motive right now is just really try, try to, you know, continue the legacy he left, he left off. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like with his influence, you know, I mean, it's pretty crazy the fact that I see the impact that he had on many people. I got, I got people from Japan. I got people all the way down in Europe that don't even speak a lick of English. That's like, man, you know, I, I love your father, man. I love Easy E. Every day we bump him in the smallest of communities. You know what I'm saying? So just to see the legacy and the impact that he left, you know, I feel that it's only right to just really try to continue in that path. Not trying to be another Easy E. But really just just doing me, but keeping the name and the legacy alive for my father's sake. You know what I'm saying? I most definitely feel you on that one. Straight respect. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've I've played straight out of Compton, the whole album. I mean, he did some amazing, amazing things creatively with the art. And like you said, definitely is a legend and the godfather of gangster rap. So talk to me about your creativeness and, and, and what you have cooking up with this new mixtape that we're going to see next month. <clears throat> yeah, the mixtape, um, it's actually entitled More Than a Dream. And uh, the reason I chose the title for that is just, you know, music for me, it's, it's not just a little hobby. It's not just a little passion. You know, it, it's more than that. It's, it's something that's in my blood. It's something that I absolutely want to do, something that I actually love. So, you know, music is just, it's actually, like I said, more than a dream. It's, it's more like, like, it's just my everything right now. You know, it's what I want, what I want to do. I'm more than positive. So, you know, with the mixtape, you know, I just I just try to bring a lot of creativeness, um, be as charismatic as I can, be as positive as I can. A lot of my music, um, you know, it just goes to talk about my life story. You know, a lot of things that's happened in my life, a lot of things that's happening out in the world. I don't want to mislead people. You know, I don't got a, a whole lot of money. You know, I don't I don't record in a big lab studio. You know, I record out of my house. You know, I don't got a Bentley. You know, I'm just I'm just trying to keep it as real as I can just to, you know, have people understand what kind of a character, what kind of person I am, and, you know, just respect the things that I'm out here doing. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely real right there. Um, I know you mentioned that you were in a group a couple of years ago called the Bill Collectors back in 2010. Y'all put out two mixtapes and everything. <clears throat> Talk to me about that and how either that formula worked at the time or didn't work and <clears throat> what made you decide to uh, follow your journey on a solo type tip. Yeah, uh, I was in a I was in a group, Bill Collectors, uh, along with my cousin Mike. He called himself his stage name was Knowledge, and um, uh, actually we didn't really know each other that well, you know. Um, he actually hit me up on MySpace a couple of years back because I was uh, I was back then putting out music, and I, I didn't have no equipment, no microphone, no nothing. I was just you know just recording solely off my laptop through the you know the little mic that comes with the laptop. So uh, he hit me up and he was like, "Yo, man, you know, I'm your, I'm, your, I'm one of your cousins, you know." I'm like, "Oh, okay, you know." So we started talking and, you know, he kind of opened up to me and you know started showing me the ropes. You know, he liked my music, liked my lyrics, and you know, I listened to some of his stuff. And you know, one day we was like, "Man, you know, let's start doing music." So we started doing music and we started talking about you know just being in a group together and they came up with the name the Bill Collectors and. You know, from there on, it just, you know, just went forward. You know, we worked on our first mixtape that was released, I believe, um, what was it? Uh, it was June 2010, Middle Fingers Up. And then the second one was Back to Business that was released just six months later in uh, December of 2010. And, um, you know, during that time, we had a we had a pretty good, uh, you know, fan base. We did a couple shows. But the thing was, it was a distance. You know, he stayed in a different state. So that was more difficult. You know, he stayed in Washington. I was Cali-bound, so... You know, we, we, basically everything we did was just through email. You know, oh, I got a song. I'm going to send it through the email. 
I record my verse. Okay, I'm going to send my vocals over to you. And then, you know, you throw them in the track and everything, and then you record your stuff. So, I mean, everything was going cool, you know, at that time. But, you know, I just I just thought I could accomplish a lot more if I just, you know, did my own little thing for a while, and he's doing his own thing now. We're both doing good. That's good to hear, my brother. Um, with, with what's coming out right now, and, and I know y'all have um, Kendrick Lamar um, coming representing from the West Coast who has a total different – swag than a lot of the artists that are out right now. Who are some of the artists that you listen to and you respect right now? Man, artists that I respect right now, um, I say Kendrick Lamar too, you know. I, I respect him to the max, you know. Before, I started hearing a lot of hype about him, and I, I didn't really know who he was. And, um, you know, I guess that was when he was just really on the rise. And, you know, then I started hearing him on the radio. I'm like, man, you know, it, this guy's creative. You know, he got a lot of talent. I like his lyrics, his lyricism. Um other people that I respect, um, of course, would be, um, let's see, Hobson. You know, I respect Hobson, you know, Mortal Technique, you know, and the other mainstream artists, you know, uh, that's out there really just, you know, just on the grind and, you know, just keep it moving. It's just I, I actually enjoying music and, and just keeping it real. But. Now, as far as, like, has anybody um, come to you for – you know, because again, you're Easy E's son, so you 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 kind of have a world um, that's that's not like everybody else. Even though you mentioned, you know, you ain't driving a Bentley, you you record in the house, and that's okay because some of the greatest uh, albums have been recorded in the basement. Um, you get you get anybody like Ice Cube's people, Dr. Dre's, Snoop's people, anybody who's ever uh, put out a hand to you and say, "Yo, if you want to do this, I got you." Um. I mean, I've, you know, I've had a few, you know, that's actually, you know, reached out to me. Um, you know, a few uh, other original um, members that were actually a part of the Rufus family. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I've worked with, you know, members from Above the Law and, you know, like uh, Big Hutch and, and you know, a couple other artists, you know. We're actually pretty well connected. But, um, you know, I haven't had anybody like Dre or Cube or anybody like of that you know, that sort of reach out to me and, you know, try to offer me help in hand. I don't know if it's the fact that, you know, they're they're not too aware of it or, if, or maybe if I should be the one to reach out or anything. But, you know, I'm not saying that in the future that, you know, it might not happen. You know, I, I just think um, I think it's just a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of time. I'm glad you did the show because a lot of people, I didn't know, I know your brother um, also spits, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, both my brothers, yeah. The both of you that I heard, definite skill level, people need to hear you. We represent the East Coast, um, so I think some of that and the flavor that you have definitely can be represented well here on the East Coast. Talk to me about what your next six months look like. I know you got that new uh, mixtape about to hit the brick next month. What is your plan for assassination? Are you going on a tour? Um, what, what's the What's the view? Yeah, the next six months... Um... Well, of course, the mixtape, More Than a Dream, that's going to be available February. I don't have an official date yet, but um, for sure February. Um, after that, I was uh, actually right now in the making, as well as doing the mixtape. Uh, I'm working on an EP right now. Um, it's all original material, you know. Probably like six to eight tracks that I'm working on for the EP. And then, um, you know, I really plan on pushing that. Um, I'm supposed to be going on... Uh, I'm actually flying out to South Dakota within the next like week or two, and like the end of end of January, beginning of February. And I'm supposed to be doing a couple shows out there and then connecting with Tech Nine Son, and then also his nephew. And then um, after that, we we're actually talking about doing like a, a tour in Germany. That's kind of like in the works right now. So you know, we getting everything together, figuring out all the funding and all that stuff, um, figuring out the venues we're gonna you know hit up and and all that good stuff. So the, the tour in Germany, that's kind of. Um, you know, up in the up in the air right now, but it's kind of like a like a fifty fifty thing. It's kind of on the official side, but uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing, man. I got a couple shows coming up, you know, in the next year, so you know everything seems to be going uphill from now. On. Now, have you are you going to continue the path of this independent thing? Are you looking to be signed? Because I'm sure a lot of labels, mm-hmm. knowing again where you come from, um, are are probably trying to hit at you. Is there life for you somewhere out there? Is that what you want to do? Or, or are you going to remain this independent game and really just try to, you know, do what you're doing? Yeah, I'm, 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 right now I'm just, I'm just totally focused on myself. I'm just 
you know, trying to see how much I can accomplish, you know, as an independent artist and see see where I can actually go, you know, create my own fan base and, you know, just continue to do shows and, and you know, to, to just try to try to see where I can go. But, I mean, eventually down the line, you know, if I get a label that, you know, you know, of course, wants to find me or something like that. That's gonna be that's gonna have to be some things I'm gonna have to consider. You know, I'm gonna have to consider the pros and the cons of, of me being under a label. You know, so that's just something I have to think about the line. But as of now, I'm just trying to continue to roll as an independent artist. I respect that. Again, my brother, I appreciate your time. I thank you. You have oh, yeah, no idea there. what this means to me. We've been wanting to hear from y'all for a minute. <clears throat> Um, shout out to your family and everything. Hope all is well and continued success. Go ahead and let people know where they could Twitter you and follow you um, and become fans themselves and do what they do. And again, I wish you much success, my brother. Keep in contact because we definitely want to continue to support you here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, people, you can follow me at uh, on my Twitter at YoungEasy90. It's Y-U-N-G-E-A-Z-Y 90. Um, you can go on my website at youngeasyblogspot.com or just youngeasy.com. You know, from there on, you'll, you'll be able to see, uh, you know, all my, all my other links to all my other retrospective sites. You know, I got Facebook, Twitter, you, you know, YouTube, Instagram. So, but yeah, I'll keep you all posted, man. Just keep in contact. Definitely. Again, my brother, thank you. I know it's early again out there. Do your thing, and uh, we're looking for big things out of you, so keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah. Is it cool if I throw a, little, a few shout-outs out there? Most definitely. Yeah, I just want to, you know, first and foremost, just, you know, give my thanks to God because without him, none of this would be possible. And I got another day of life to enjoy with my family. You know, I just want to uh, give a shout out to all the, the fans out there and everybody that's tuning into the show right now. You know, none of this would be possible without any of y'all. Um, I just want to give a shout out to, you know, of course, my girl. You know, she's my backbone. You know, anytime I need any type of advice, I go to her. Give a shout out to Ahmed, my producer, Ulex, my producer and engineer, the homies Eric, St. P. The Voice, Original Slim, CJ Slick, and Randy Rana and Sergio Hernandez over at EasyECPT.com and the whole Rufus family that's out there representing. All right, my brother. You be easy out there. Okay. For sure, my brother, man. I appreciate being on the show. God bless you, man. Smoke something. You fucking haters. You're rocking. Rock, 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 Charlie, Charlie Glass. 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 Glass.